Hello and welcome. This is Raheem Zulfikar Ali from Excel Basement Private Limited. In this video tutorial, we will learn and explore some awesome features available in Microsoft Excel uh, with respect to what if analysis. And uh, we will be learning about the financial planning calculators. So there are three different calculators with respect to, uh, you can say three different products, credit card installment plans, car loan and then personal loan okay and uh, these three are related to the financial planning uh, criteria and I have taken an example a real-time example of uh, one of the top five banks in Pakistan that is uh, Habib Bank Limited HBL so I was going through uh, this website HBL.com and I was just looking about uh, some of the features they have uh, uh, added in the, on their website so uh, I scroll down and I found uh, that's very intuitive and interactive uh, three different calculators on on their website so when when we click on any of the uh, financial planning product uh, like credit card or personal loan so on a real-time basis we can just scroll uh, to change the amount and to change the time periods and automatically it's calculate uh, a new amount uh, with with uh, a percentage as well so I thought why not to create this kind of interactivity uh, in Microsoft Excel okay so let's get start and I will teach you that how I created in very less time these three different calculators and I will also be adding uh, this downloading template link uh, on the video description so you can download and explore more so let's get start all right, so I added three sheets uh, in my this per workbook that is personal loan, car loan, and credit card. Okay, and uh, how I get logo here? So let me tell you, this is very easy. You just need to go to this website hbl.com and right click on the logo, and from this menu, just click on copy image. And once you copy this image, uh, go back to the Excel and just press Control V okay so you will get this logo all right one more thing i have done is that i have hide the grid lines so you can turn on grid lines in order to uh, rearrange the objects on your spreadsheet with respect to the columns and rows and once you are done you can just turn off the grid lines okay so that the background will be the white one okay th this is a, also an image if i click on this so this is an image uh, again these are the images uh, with respect to different products uh, that is car loan and then credit card so hi how I got these images uh, it's very simple again uh, in Microsoft Excel when you go to the insert tab and then you go to screenshot so you can just click on a screen clipping and once you click on a screen clipping so it will let you to the second active window on your taskbar and it will make a gray area now you have a choice that you can specify the area with the uh, by holding the left click of your mouse and then expand that plus sign and once you click on that you will get that particular screenshot uh, in your excel so this this is super cool uh, feature in excel that you can quickly take uh, the screenshot of the second most active window on your taskbar okay all right so i got all these pictures by this technique so I hope you got my point that uh, you can take the screenshot by clicking on a screen clipping, right? All right. Now to navigate between these three different products like personal loan, car loan, credit card, what I have done is I have inserted a text box. Uh, go to insert and then in the shapes, this is the first icon of text box. So once you insert the text box, let me show you a demonstration and you want to, uh, for example, go to the car loan area. So I, I will write car loan and just right click on this text box and you will find in this contextual menu link. If you are using some previous version, so you will find out hyperlink. Okay. So when I click on link, so this insert hyperlink dialog window will appear and click on place in this document. So whatever the sheets uh, will be in your uh, workbook will appear here and just click on that particular sheet. Okay, car loan, for example. 
So once the hyperlink is being created, when I click on it, so I will go to the car loan and again going back to the previous any product. So you can again add some text boxes and just do some uh, cross navigation uh, between the worksheets. Okay, so these are basically hyperlinks and when I click on any of the link, I, I can easily go and come back to that, that particular product, right? So I hope this is clear to you. All right. Now let me just delete this. Okay. Now another thing which I observe on their website is about uh, that. This is the scroll bar and we can uh, increase the amount or we can increase the time period as well and the amount is being changing. So let me show you that how we can do this kind of interactivity in Excel. So I have added a scroll bar. Okay. So let me tell you that how to add the scroll bar you have you must have the developer tab and go to insert and in the form controls you will find scroll bar from here right so it's very easy once you draw the scroll bar you just need to do some settings like uh, right click on the scroll bar go to format control and in the control tab you need to fill some of the fields here like uh, what is the starting value that will be the minimum value uh, what will be the maximum value incremental change whenever you press the scroll bar what will be the incremental change and then the cell link okay that's very important to define the cell link as well so after doing all these uh, filling all these correct uh, fields now you can see here whenever i press the scroll bar uh, the amount is being increasing and the new monthly installment amount is is coming from that particular criteria right all right rest is all about the formatting uh, this is the border this is gray border uh, the color of hbl is like teal so let me also guide you that how you can uh, exactly get this teal color because for the first time when you write a number for example 67 and you want to apply this particular theme color of HPL you will you would not find exactly that color you need to add that now we don't have uh, a kind of eyedropper or color picker in this menu in Excel uh, still but what I did is I open a PowerPoint and uh, I just uh, took the screenshot from that HBL website okay and this is the image which I took from the HBL website as, as a screenshot and then that this is very simple you just have to insert any kind of shape and within when you insert a shape you have to click on shape format where you will find an option called shape fill so there in this menu you can find eyedropper okay uh, or you can say color picker so when you click on eyedropper just place your eyedropper on that particular image or the color you want and just click on that so once you click on that and now once you get the color what you need to do is go to shape fill again and click on more fair colors and on the custom tab you will find the RGB combination that is red green and blue so it says that if you want this exactly same theme color of the HPL which is a kind of teal color so that number is 2511286 and once I got the RGB number what I can do is I, I will go to the Excel and I will open this uh, font color I will go to more colors and in the custom I will define exactly the same numbers which I got from the PowerPoint technique right so it's very easy to get the theme colors by this kind of technique now I am using office 2019 with the uh, 365 subscription so might be in the previous versions or the earlier versions you would not find uh, this kind of technique of uh, eyedropper so this was important to quote here that I am using the latest versions okay all right so once I got the colors I started doing the formattings now what the logic behind is let's discuss about the credit cards so I want to conduct a transaction worth 10,000 this is the example and I will repay this amount in three months so you can see that the HBL says the finance charges would be 24% and the processing fees is 700 so first let match the uh, amount as a result we got so let's go to the website and if I on the website if I uh, have a transaction worth 10,000 for three months which is 24% finance charges so it says that your monthly installments will be just 3468 so if I go to my Excel 
it's exactly the same amount 3468 right and let's cross check again for example if i increase the months here for example uh, the amount will remain the same uh, i want to repay in six months so now the new monthly installment will be 1785 so if i go to excel and what i need to do is i need to just increase the months so you can see that the amount is same months has been increased for the repayment and the amount is exactly 1785 which was coming on the website as well so we successfully created this kind of uh, financial planning calculator with respect to credit card installments by the hbl now what's the logic or uh, what kind of function i have used is the pmt function basically uh, PMT is one of the financial functions available in Microsoft Excel. It returns the monthly payment. So first you need to define the rate. So the rate is in this example is 24% which is the financial charges payment. So this 24% is basically an yearly rate. So I have divided this percentage with 12. Then we want number of periods. So number of periods are already in month. So this is an S18 and then we need to define present value so that is 10,000 in s15 now if i don't put minus one here let me remove this minus one so it's it's a monthly payment of uh, 1785 rupees pkr right so it comes in in a negative way a neg with a negative sign why because it's a payment it, it's a cash outflow but uh, on the website they have uh, shown the number as, as a positive one okay so technically uh, the payment should be in a negative because it's a cash outflow but if you want to show it in a without negative sign so definitely you need to add multiply by minus one so that it will remove the brackets right so this is very simple logic uh, we have used the pmt function behind and you can uh, see that exactly the same kind of layout in, in Excel and the logic has been created in very less time when we see this kind of calculator in real time on their website. Now let me show you another example of personal loan. Now in the personal loan uh, there are two criterias. I want to borrow the amount and to repay in months criteria right and there is a markup rate which is fixed that is 35.99 percent and there is a static static means that there there might be some uh, rules and terms and conditions to be followed so uh, this amount could be vary because uh, it, it depends that when we create loan amortization schedule it also depends that either uh, how we deal with the numbers uh, we need to round down the numbers we need to round up the numbers so it would not come exactly when we apply the logic in excel uh, but there would be a minor difference not the major difference okay so for example if we apply for a personal loan from hbl and i want to borrow 25000 that will be the present value and i will i decided to repay in 12 months uh, with a markup rate of 35.99 percent so it gives me 2505 okay that will be my monthly installments so if i go to my template and if i click on personal loan so from here now you can see that 25,000 for 12 months with a markup of 35.99 percent and that is giving me 2511 so if we compare this amount with the website so there is a very minor difference of six rupees only which is less right why because as i told you when we create loan amortization schedule uh, we need to round down or round up the numbers very carefully okay so if i open a loan amortization schedule this is a journal schedule so i have put the loan amount which is 25,000. Uh, annual interest rate which is 35.99 percent uh, today is the 8th of march 2021 and the number of time period is 12 right so if we see the loan amortization schedule you you can see that uh, there might be a difference of point a number greater than 0.5 or less than 0.5 so that's where this kind of difference comes right so if you can see uh, the total interest is uh, 5137 for the next 12 months and if i go to the website and if i open their loan amortization schedule which is uh, made by the uh, hbl so they they also added a word that is called tentative this is the tentative one so there could be a minor differences so this is 5145 so there is a difference of six to seven rupees only and that's due to the rounding of the numbers right
so this is how we can we created again uh, the personal loan calculator template in microsoft excel exactly with the same theme right super awesome and what kind of logic i have created exactly the same uh, because we are extracting in each of the different kind of calculator of different product uh, we are basically extracting the monthly installments and for the monthly installments we have the function which is called pmt in microsoft excel right all right one more interesting thing which you need to learn is that uh, for example if i uh, increase the amount from here okay so the maximum amount i can borrow is 30000 now for example if you find on a website that i can increase the amount in millions as well right now technically what happens is when you insert a scroll bar from a developer uh, from the category of form controls it, it has a limitation and that's very important to learn when you right click on this scroll bar and go to format control where you have to go to control tab and in the maximum value you cannot define a, a maximum value greater than 30,000 for example if I write 60,000 here or 6 lakh and when I press OK, so it says that scroll value must be between 0 and 30,000. Now, practically, if I want a bigger amount, uh, maximum or, or uh, greater than 30,000, so how, how would I will control this scroll bar? Now, there is a limitation. So there is another solution as well. What you need to do is I have already created here in this uh, car loan calculator. So you know that car prices in Pakistan is like 1.4 million, 2 million, 2.5 million. So now what I did is to overcome this limitation is I went to developer tab and I inserted the scroll bar from ActiveX controls, not from the form controls. Now this time I have used ActiveX controls. Okay. And once I inserted that ActiveX control scroll bar, uh, you need to click on design tab and then I have uh, applied one VBA, a, a very short VBA and I have saved my file not as Excel S6 format but uh, as a macro enable format. Remember that whenever you deal with macros you need to save Excel file uh, in, in a macro enable format that is Excel SM. Okay. So what I did is I created a logic. So what you need to do is basically when you when you want to overcome with this limitation. So the first thing which I told you is basically developer and use the ActiveX controls okay this is scroll bar now once you inserted that right click on this scroll bar and from this contextual menu go to the properties and which exactly cell you want to change okay so I have link cell which is s16 so you need to define the link cell so in my case in this template it's s16 so if I go to this uh, where, where I have added the amount of 2 lakh rupees so this is the X, S16 and also what you need to do is again right click on this scroll bar and click on view code for the very first time you will find this code private sub scroll bar 1 underscore change bracket open bracket close and end sub what you need to do is you need to add one more line which is called active sheet dot scroll bar one dot max is equals to range and then you need to define a helper cell okay so you need to define you need an extra cell uh, and in that particular cell you will define a maximum number there that how much maximum you want to be that scroll bar to be made accordingly okay so i have uh, taken a helper cell which is s14 and in the s14 i have put the value bigger than 30,000. So this is how you overcome with the limitations and that will exactly work for you, right? So again, I will go to the developer tab and I will just close this design mode. And now you can see that this, this scroll bar is working uh, value for more than 30,000 as well easily for me and I can just uh, get the monthly installments right from here. So these are kind of uh, templates you can create very easily in Excel. I hope you like this video. Uh, you can download this template from the video description and I hope it will bring a lot of different kind of learning for you. Thank you so much.